Gardening with Ranger Rob, Part 2, Adding Soil to the New Boxes. This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hi guys, this is Ranger Rob, and this is Gardening with Ranger Rob. This is Part 2 of the new box we just put in. And so, uh, forgive me, I've got an air conditioner behind me. It's 101 degrees today in Arizona, and it's only April. So, uh... As you can see in the box, we actually have oh, maybe three quarters of it full. What we did is we bought uh, eight um, four cubic foot, three cubic foot, um, just a potting soil, kind of a cheaper soil. And uh, you can, it, it's not cheap to fill one of these boxes. So what we're going to do now is start adding a layer of a little better potting soil. Then we're going to put a strawberry fields uh, uh, soil in, which has a lot of nutrients in it. And uh, and then finally some uh, fertilizer, and that should top it off. So we're right in the middle of that. We didn't want to show everything of us. Just <laughs> Everything's hard when it's 101 degrees out. Anyway, so we're going to be adding some more bags of this. I'm going to take you over to the truck and show you what I got left to put in and uh, how we're going about it. All right, we're back uh, here with my truck. This is what I got left to put into the uh, uh, above ground boxes that we're building. Now, what I wanted to point out to you is it costs about, what, $100, $115 to do uh, the boxes. This was actually $225 worth of soil. Now, there is a way to reduce that cost, um, but generally, if you're gonna use good soil, it's gonna cost you money. So the next layer is we're going to be putting in is an organic potting soil. And then after that, you can't see it too well. We have some strawberry fields. Uh, so yeah, six bags to the left of the organic. These are only two cubic, uh, feet, uh, two cubic feet of, uh, feet? Yeah, feet of uh, soil. We needed 44 total. And uh, so uh, that should fill it up properly with what all we got here. So we got six more bags of, we did six bags, eight, eight bags of the three centimeter um, cubic foot one, and then two, uh, six more of the two cubic foot, uh, three more one and a half cubic feet. Anyway, that should be really close to our, our, our target. So, basically, in a wheelbarrow, we got to take it from here in the truck, through our fence, around the house, and to the other side of the house. So, it doesn't seem like much, does it? But when it's 101 degrees out, it seems like a lot. So, uh, we'll just show you the kind of different stages that we get to till we get to the top. And then uh, we're going to plant uh, cucumbers, some um, cantaloupe, and some watermelon for the summer because that's what grows this, it, with these high temperatures. And uh, so let's get started. I got some work to do. Well, we got our project all finished. Uh, put our next layer of dirt. We put our high quality dirt on the top. Mixed it in with uh, a couple of different fertilizers. And we got some uh, cantaloupe planted and some uh, cucumbers, uh, pickling kind of cucumbers. So we get this started right away. We'll probably cover this to be protected from the birds. And uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with it. Uh, I thought I'd also show you a couple things else, a couple other things in the uh, garden, and we'll call this uh, video a wrap. But uh, anyway, guys, this day and age, it's time to start thinking about growing your own stuff. And hopefully it's been a good example for you. Uh, you could probably do it a little bit more affordable than what me and Sherry did. We just did it more out of convenience. Now let me show you a couple other things we're doing for the summer. Remember, it's 100 degrees out today. We got our summer weather coming, so we have to plant things that will handle the, the hot weather. And that's why cantaloupe, uh, watermelon we got going, and cucumbers are a, a good plant for the summer. And uh, I'll show you a couple other things real quick, and then we'll call this a wrap. About a week ago or so, I uh, also uh, told you I was doing some zucchini, and as you can see, it's exploded. So we're looking forward to uh, 
getting zucchini here very soon. It's already starting to flower and uh, taking over the whole garden. And that's kind of what we wanted. It's summertime and that's the kind of plants that do well here. So uh, this is all zucchini and hopefully we'll get lots of zucchini. The other thing I wanted to bring up to you real quick is strawberries are going like gangbusters. And uh, all my strawberry plants are doing really well. And I get quite a few strawberries every day now. So I just uh, clean them, trim them, freeze them. And uh, we have them for all kinds of little special things, from milkshakes to making our own our own jam. And last but not least, the tomatoes. Um, this plant went crazy. And so uh, I've had to trim it a lot. And boy, you can really see the tomatoes coming all over the place. And uh, I've already gotten a good dozen tomatoes. And uh, just trimming it, I can tell that it's very happy about that. So there you go, guys. Grow your own stuff. And, uh, you know, make your own planters, whether you do fancy ones like this one, barrels like over there, or the one I did basic that we just showed you. Just grow stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.